Hey guys, I'm back. Time to dive into a little bit more of Mega Man X2 by going after the last Maverick, that being Magma Centipede. Magma Centipede stage for me is probably one of the most annoying stages. It's filled with everything that just makes a stage really annoying. And if I can get rid of that, there we go. You see those yellow orbs hovering, going back and forth? Those are sensors. If you um, trip one of those sensors, it will drop these um, cube-like turrets down on you, which will fire buster shots. While you can destroy the turrets, it's just best you don't get spotted at all. Um, and one other thing that these um, tr sensors can do is they can drop the floor out from underneath you. You see the floor that I'm standing on? If I were to get targeted by this sensor here, it would drop the floor and I would fall to my death. So your best course of action is just to really stay in these um, cover areas. Alright, let's see if I can get this just right. And no, I didn't. Alright, screw it. If you intend to destroy the turrets, do not destroy this one. And there is a particular reason why, and I'm about to show you. Go into your inventory and switch to speed burner. Yeah, you probably see where this is going. If I can just do this just right. Ah. Of course it went right in my trial run. There we go. Yep, a heart tank is heading up here. Grab it. That is the last heart tank in the game. Anyway, switch back to X Buster for the moment and drop back down. Yeah, now it's a, a game of not being crushed. These um, giant silver blocks, if you do the slightest thing wrong in progressing through the level, you are dead. You can only destroy the purple blocks. You cannot destroy any of the silver blocks. If you even try, your shots will just go through them. Allow me to demonstrate. See? I can. You can only shoot through them. And... Yeah. Alright, I think I'm in the right area. This is gonna be fun. Switch back to speed burner. And charge it up. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. You need to get up here. And try to get yourself as close to the edge as you can. Jump. Oh, I got on my first go. Yeah, your sub tank is hidden up here. And let me tell you, this one is a pain in the ass to get. Because you've got to time your jump just right. It's like the um, bubble crab heart tank. Anyway, let's grab it. That is the last sub tank in the game. See? I have all four of them. Anyway, switch back to your X Buster and charge it. Immediately. Meet the mini boss. Much like most of the mini bosses in this stage, it can deflect your X Buster shots. Yeah, you need to target the hilt of the sword. <sighs> you are going to make my life miserable, aren't you? Yeah, this thing will home in on you wherever you're at. Oh, at least it dropped something useful.
Thankfully, I didn't have to encounter the X Hunters ass in this area. Because if you had the X Hunter in this area, yeah, getting through this section is annoying. Here's the other. Giga Crush. Ah, that could have gone better. <sighs> that could have gone better. Oh, psh. not useful. Oh, yeah, I remember this. But hey, full health pellets. I'll take that. And... Am I going to regret this? Probably. But not really. Anyway, go to your inventory and switch back to Silk Shot. You're gonna want it. Because that's what Magma Centipede is weak to, is Silk Shot. In fact, the Silk Shot will bust off his tail. If I remember correctly. Yep, there goes his tail. Yeah, he's kind of like, um... Uh, a boomerang kawanger. He'll teleport all over the place. There we go. And now I believe we have the magnet mine. The Magnet Mine is actually what Crystal Snail is weak to. And plot. Anyway, given how short this video is, I guess I can attempt the first X Hunter level. So let's go. Oh, I love the X Hunter theme. You may not. I am on a bed of spikes. How is it that the mechanoloids can hop on spikes, but I can't? No fair. It's like asking why Rush in Mega the classic Mega Man games is... Oh, we don't want to do that. I will scroll you back off the screen. 
<laughs> a bit of um, proof of concept here. Oh, dang it. It didn't work. Crap. Sorry about that. I wanted to show something really cool. If you're having trouble with these, um... And apparently, I... Oh, fine. Ah. What I was going to try to do was use a fully charged sonic slicer to, um... Cut through the mechanoloid. And if you can do that fast enough, you never actually have to worry about those walls closing in on you. And I apologize for not being able to show that off. No, uh... Ugh, God, I hate these things. There we go. Oops. There we go. Let's see if I can actually do it this time. There you go. If you do that just right, if you... You don't actually have to worry about um, getting crushed by that wall. There's a certain point on the ladder where you can stand at and not be spotted by the mechanoid. There you go. Hmm. Shall I try that again? Cool! I actually did not know you could do that! <laughs> that is awesome! I didn't know you could cut off the tails using Sonic Slicer. I guess I learned something new every time I play this game. And you are not gonna crush me with that wall! Anyway, switch back out. Yes. No, you may not throw me off into the bottomless pit. Nice try, though. Yeah, it's not even worth dealing with them. Yes, and I know where this is going, because I never get this one just right. Ah, I missed it. And really missed it. Let's see if I can. Is the wall... Yeah, the wall's closed. Sorry, guys. Got rid of it. Good. Yeah, this one can be really annoying to hit with Sonic Slicer. So if we actually do that again. <laughs> I really did not know you could do that. See if I can get rid of you using uh, no apparently I can't get rid of you using Crystal Hunter. There was really something really cool I found out when I was playing um, Magma Centipede stage that if you were to freeze an enemy using Crystal Hunter and then switch back to your Axe Buster, the enemy will actually disappear. I guess that's an oversight on the game's part or something. Let's see if I can try to demonstrate that in the um, second part of the X Hunter base. Anyway. No dialogue, I guess. Ow. Yeah, that's actually gonna hinder you there, bud. <laughs> I swear, this guy is actually easier the first second time around than he is the first time. Uh, 
I say that now? Whoops. Apologies, folks. But I still swear that he's easier the second time around. Oh. Okay, so apparently that thing can track me. I'm just getting really unlucky. How does he get such long range on that mace? Uh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I do not want to edit this, and I'm not going to. <sighs> I am not getting trapped by you this time. There. Sorry, folks. Goodbye, one X Hunter. And on that, I'm going to call the video here.